Announcing Prince Lelouch v. Britannia, 17th heir to the Royal Britannian Imperial Throne. I heard Empress Marianne was killed inside of the Britannian Palace. There's no way terrorists could have gotten in there. Which means that the real assassins must have been... Shh! Beware, my friend. You'll regret it if anyone hears that kind of talk around the palace. And yet the boy remains, even though his mother is dead. It's over. And the Ashford family who stood behind them is finished as well. And his sister, the princess? I understand she was shot in the legs. And that she lost her sight. Blindness caused by trauma, though, isn't it? No difference. Now she can't even be married off for political gain. Hail, your majesty! My mother, the empress, is dead! Old news, what of it? What of it? You sought an audience with the Emperor of Britannia simply to inform me of that? Send the next one in. I have no time for these childish games. Father! Yes, your majesty. Why didn't you keep Mother out of harm's way? You're the Emperor, the greatest man in this nation, if not the world. You should have protected her, and now you don't even visit Natalie! I've no use for that weakling. That weakling? That is what it means to be royalty. Then I don't want to be your heir. I give up my claim to the throne! Oh, I'm sick of the fighting and scheming over who will succeed you, Father! I've had enough! You are dead. <laughs> you have always been dead to me, dead from the moment you were born. Who gave you the fine clothes you wear, a comfortable home, the food you eat, and your very life? All of those I have given to you. In short, you are nothing to me because you have never existed! Yet you dare to speak such foolishness to me! <laughs> Lelouch, you are dead, therefore you are not entitled to any rights. I am sending you and Nanali to Japan. As prince and princess, you will serve well as bargaining tools. <laughs>